Does your cigarette taste different lately? Not if you smoke Raleigh's. They're blended with fully aged, fully mellowed tobaccos. Raleigh's cigarettes invite you to beat the band. If you can. Here we go again with another session of fun, trying to beat the band directed by Harry Sosnick with our sweet-swinging guest star, Gene Ty, yours truly, Tom Shirley, and the man who represents you in this contest of chuckles and quiz, the man who asks your questions, Eddie Mayhaw! <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Tom Shirley. Now let's get to our questions and concentrate. That is, if we can get our minds off the heat. <laughs> Boy, Tom, there are a lot of those old hot weather stories going around, aren't there? <laughs> oh, that's yeah, right, Eddie. Yes, right. Like the one where the fellow said it was so hot, uh, he spent his vacation and there were no trees, so they all sat around... Take turns and... sitting in each other's shade. <laughs> that was a swell story, Eddie. Yeah. Yes, it was funny, wasn't it, Tom? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> And then there, there was that old one where it was uh, so hot up on the farm that we had to fan the cows. So and... she wouldn't give white steam. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, 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 that's marvelous. That's a, yeah. There, there was a one where we had to, so hot we had to feed the chickens cracked ice to keep, keep them... them from laying hard boiling. <laughs> See, I'm going to get on this show if it kills me. Will you play, Harry? Gosh. <laughs> Harry Sosnick takes over as the orchestra plays that South American hit, Tico, Tico. Everywhere you go, they're talking, talking. Even your best friends are saying it. Saying what, Thomas? Hey, does your cigarette taste different lately? Yep, that's a fact, Eddie. Almost everywhere you go nowadays, you hear smokers talking about the taste change in cigarettes. But not Raleigh smokers. Reason is because Raleigh cigarettes are still blended only with fully aged, fully mellowed tobaccos. Yes, that's right. Choice pre-war Turkish and field-ripened domestic tobaccos all brought to their flavor mellow best by the process of time. Light up a slow-burning Raleigh for a genuine pre-war pleasure smoke, free from harsh, throat-parching irritants. No wartime loss of taste. All right, and now the rules of Beat the Band. It's $25 and a carton of Raleigh cigarettes for each right answer. But each time a question is missed, $50... And two cartons of Raleigh cigarettes. Besides, on each miss, we all throw a pack of Raleigh cigarettes on the old bass drum for our men in service overseas. And that goes for you, too, Gene Ty, honey. Uh, any questions, Tom? Oh, Eddie, you're the man with the questions. Yes, sir, I got them, and I'm going to ask them. So let's get on to the unrehearsed part of the Beat the Band program. Are you fellas brighter than you look? Why, sure. 
There you have the best recommendation for the meatless diet, ladies and gentlemen. All right, our first question. A sailor, a sailor far away from home, received a letter, and with it, a baby's picture. When his commanding officer saw the snapshot, he said, Is that your child? And the sailor answered proudly, Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Walter Donaldson wrote this old favorite back in 1925, and Mrs. Sidney Phillipson of Buffalo, New York, said in the question, I'm not going to waste any time tonight. I see Paul Ricky has got an intellectual hand stuck out in front of him there. I bet you anything he knows something. How about it, Paul? Uh, right yes, sir, the... that's my baby. Yes, sir, that's my baby, did you say? That's can right. You... That is the right answer, and can you play it on the licorice stick? Mm-hmm. You can do This way. Well, I'll be dog Yes, sir, that's yes, sir, that's my baby. Uh-huh, Paul, all right, that's the right answer. Good question, right off to a Jack Armstrong start here tonight. This, <laughs> this is Sidney Phillips in Buffalo, New York, $25, and a carton of Raleigh cigarettes goes to you. Next question comes along something like this. A fellow out to impress a new girlfriend ordered her sent two dozen American beauties. Right afterwards, however, he heard she suffered from rose fever. So he hurriedly called the florist and said, Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. The Torchy Song came out in 1941. Viva Cumin of Marshall, Wisconsin. And honey, if I haven't said your name right, please forgive me. Has sent in a very excellent question. And I see uh, practically no hands except <laughs> Hague Stevens, who is ready to do a stand-in for Monty Woolley's beard. <laughs> uh, Hague, have you got anything on your mind about this? Why, he said, cancel the flowers. Can- cancel the flowers Why, is the sure. right answer. Can you play it, hey? No, I haven't ever even heard of the tune. <laughs> I haven't even ever heard of the tune. I never even heard of it. What? <laughs> no, cha- can't even get a note or anything out of that? Can't Not a thief. All right, all right, then. That, that question beat the band, definitely. And here was the answer. So he hurriedly called the floors and said, cancel the flowers. He got the right answer, but he couldn't play it. So the question beat the band. And Viva Cumin of Marshall, Wisconsin, your award is $50 and two cartons of Raleigh cigarettes. Boys, make the old bass drum boom with rolling cigarettes for all the men in the service. Get them again! Oh! Hague Stevens disappointed me on that one, Tom. He usually knows the answers. I mean, I always thought I could count on him. He used to know all the answers. He used to be boatman in the tunnel of love, but I suppose he's forgotten some of the answers. <laughs> Why now? And to be sure the men in service overseas have plenty of good smokes, we're going to multiply the Raleigh cigarettes thrown on the old bass drum tonight, 100 to 1. Well, to date, Eddie, 488,760,000 Raleigh cigarettes have been sent to our men in service as free gifts of patriotic, civic, and paternal organizations, labor unions, and the Brown and Williamson Tobacco Corporation. This week, we say hats off to the electrical workers of Wichita, Kansas, and the Federation of Trades of Atlanta, Georgia, for their particularly generous contributions. Well, that's fine, Thomas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tom, I feel a song coming on. Uh, sorry, old man, but I have my orders. You can't sing on this program. <laughs> I can smell ham all the way across here, Tom. Well, it suits me as long <laughs> as as long as, as Jean Ty will do my singing for us. Can, can, can you do some singing for us tonight, Jean? I certainly can, Eddie, yeah. and it's going to be... I'll get by. I'll get by. That's a cue, Harry Sosnick, for one of your best introductions. Take it. I'll get by as long as I have you. So there be Wherever I go, what 
whatever I do, I'll be doing fine for. I'll get by as long as I. I'll get by. I'll get by. I can't imagine how Miss Ty would ever have any trouble getting by. Do you, Tom? No, indeed. Can't indeed. imagine. Well, all right. We're going to try our next question on the gentleman back here with the large expressions and the small brains. Crooks and coppers. Here we go. <laughs> Crooks and coppers. The police arrested a gang of bank robbers, but none of them would talk, not until one thug broke down. Hearing this, the ringleader said to his pals, Okay, we'll talk. If that rat's gonna sing, mm, 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 uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the answer is a 1940 novelty hit, and the novelty certainly hit my larynx too. Uh, all right, Dorothy Kuhn of Gloversville, New York, sent in this very dancey question here, and uh, ignorance almost set in there. But uh, with the hot weather, how about Willis Kelly from? I'll take a chance. You'll take a chance. Oh, Willis Kelly from Sleepy Valley. If Valley that rat's Ranch. gonna sing, let's all sing like the birdies sing. He got in there too fast. I couldn't get in my ad lib. But <laughs> well, I had to keep. All it right, all right, Willis, you got the right answer. Now the next question is: Can you play it? No, no. What? Hey, what? No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, and the judging and investigating committee says that that was not the right answer. Because that's not the right answer. What is the right answer? Oh yes. Let's all sing together. Is the right answer, Willis? Sit down and be very quiet while I try to get myself out of this large hole that you have left here for me. All right. Well, he gave the wrong answer, and I'll tell you what the right answer was. The ringleader said to his pals, Okay, we'll talk. If that rat's going to sing, let's all sing together. So that question beat the band. <laughs> well, it was very close for a Kelly. All right, the question beat the band. Boys, make the drapes bass drum. Oh, the cigarettes for men in the service. Oh, please. Will you call these cigarettes? By the way, Dorothy Q of Gloversville, New York, congratulations. We'll send you a check for $50 plus two cartons of Raleigh cigarettes. I see that we not only have cigarettes, we have cartons thrown on the old base. You know, you know, Willis, I, I was only wishing that it was that. You see, I had that song on the mind. Let's all sing like the birdies sing. You know, I wish it was that song because I do wonderful imitations of birds. Would you give a little bird uh, music back? Not what you're thinking, though. Uh, no. Just a little of the one, two, three. Let's all sing like the birds. I love this song, John. Let's all sing like the birds and sing. <laughs> Do many other imitations, too. For example, the wrinkled beak swamp hawk. Once again, please. Just keep that going. Never stop. I'll pay you after. I would have gave you $1.98 yesterday. What do you want? The wrinkled beak swamp hawk, Tom. Let's all sing like the... There's a similarity there. <laughs> I would do the flat-chested flea catcher, but the OWI forbids it. All right, let's go right on. Here's the next announcement. Friends, why don't you pay off the mortgage on the old homestead? For details, I now refer you to Tom Shirley. And here are the details. For each question we use, you get $25 in a carton of Raleigh cigarettes. If your question beats the band, $50 in two cartons of Raleigh cigarettes. Mail your questions to Beat the Band, NBC, Chicago 54. The boys in the orchestra and our young lady in song must answer with the correct title and also play or sing an identifying strain of the song. If similar questions are submitted, payment is made only to the person whose question is used. The judges select the most interesting questions. All questions become the property of NBC. Have you got it, folks? So send your questions. Send your questions to Beat the Band, NBC, Chicago 54. <laughs> Harry 
Sosnick kind of snuck up on me with that one. We'll forgive him, though, as we listen to Holiday for Strings. the holiday for strings, then all of a sudden we weren't listening to it. How about it? Well, that was really very fine sosnicking there, everybody. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, the secret is out. You may now obtain the book on how Harry does it. Uh, the book is entitled How I Lead a Band by the Simple Sosnick System of Necromancy, Witchcraft, and the Ordinary Lead Pencil. <laughs> Ten cents at your nearest haunted house. All right, now here's our next question. It goes a little bit like this. <laughs> We have all English in the band tonight. Uh, here is a stinger. Here is a stinger. See if we can get this together. Junior ran inside the house bawling. His nose was red and swollen. Goodness, Junior, his mother said. What happened? And Junior replied, I I got in the way of... Mm, 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 mm. This Rimsky-Korsakoff classic is a Harry James favorite. Bonita Hand of Birmingham, Alabama, sent in the question. Uh... You're going to take Larry Binion right here. Larry Binion on the uh, on the saxophone. The Flight of the Bumblebee. Flight of the Bumblebee is right. I just dare you to play it. Dare uh, you to play it. They'll call it the Flight of the Stumblebum after I Flight of the Stumblebum. <laughs> you got that track right off of last week's show. Keep the Let's price sue you for that, one, Larry. <laughs> Well, the judging and investigating se committee says that there were two right notes in that, so that we will accept that for the right answer. And so we sent a check for $25 in the carton of Raleigh cigarettes to Bonita Hand of Birmingham, Alabama, and expect a call from my lawyer next week, please, Larry, for that crack that you took right off the bottom of the page. All right, refreshment time again. <laughs> refreshment time again with our guest, Dean Ty, in the company of Harry Sosnick and the orchestra. She carries the banner for the sovereign state of Kentucky. Be going where the fall breeze is blowing in Kentucky. Things will be blooming when I roam where there's room in old Kentucky, Kentucky, where the sky is blue and the grass is too, and the sunniest style of welcome and smile. Made to order for you. Somebody's waiting to begin celebrating in Kentucky. 
I'm not denying that my heart will be flying when I get to Kentucky. I'll declare it's heaven with all those wonders in store. Oh, Lord, make me lucky when I get to Kentucky. Let me stay there forevermore. Soon I'll be going, salt breeze is blowing in Kentucky. Things will be booming when I roam in old Kentucky. Where the sky is blue and the grass is too. And the sunniest style of welcome and smile is made to order for you. Somebody's waiting to begin celebrating in Kentucky. I'm not denying that my heart will be flying when I get to Kentucky. I'll declare it heaven with all those wonders in store. Oh, Lord, make me lucky when I get to Kentucky. Let me stay there forevermore. Well, Dean, Kentucky's proud banner was carried mighty high, wide, and handsome that time. You could almost get a breath of the old sweet meadowgrass in there, couldn't you, Tom? Hear yes, a few sir. of those Kentucky wobblers almost. Hail Louisville. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now, while our Sosnick symphoniers slump back for a mental relapse, Sidopolis Flounder poses the question of the week. Say, does your cigarette taste different lately? Well, to put it simply, Tom... The simple fact is there's no wartime loss of taste or quality in Raleigh cigarettes because Raleigh's are still blended only with fully aged, fully mellowed tobaccos. That means no green tobacco harshness, no throat-parching irritants. Raleigh's still contain the full amount of rich, aromatic pre-war Turkish tobaccos, so you get real pre-war flavor. What's more, better-tasting Raleigh's stay factory fresh longer because they're doubly protected by the best moisture-retaining ingredient known to the tobacco industry... And then, they're flavor-sealed in Raleigh's exclusive laminated inner wrapper. Remember, next time you buy, there's no taste let down when you light up a Raleigh, because quality is never rationed in a Raleigh. All right, folks, here, here's a real test of memory, real test of memory. If you'll recall, the Allied invasion of France was delayed one day because of... Mm, 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 mm. Harold Arlen wrote the standard torch song in 1933. R.M. Lease of New York sent in a question. A lot of hands up. Everybody's hand is up tonight. Everybody's. You notice that? Everybody's got that. Looks like you guys look like a bunch of Rommel's men. <laughs> well, well, well. How about uh, how about uh, our singer Gene Ty? Oh, sticking out there. Well, just you almost almost missed your hand, honey. Have Stormy you got... weather. Stormy weather is right. Can you sing it, dear? Uh, I think so. Uh... Sal, will you play it in C? See, that's the one key, Sal. But, but he's all right in that key, Gene. Don't know why there's no sun up in the sky. Things just like my cousin makes coconut layer cake, honey. That was the right answer and the right song. And $25 plus a carton of Raleigh cigarettes goes to R.M. Lee's... Uh, sorry, Eddie. York. This is where I... Amen. Oh, I? that's you again there, Tom. That what are you going to do? You're going to go back and add up scores? Yes. All right, yes. You go right back and way back, too, with that yes. And while you're doing that, Tom, the rest of us will give our undivided attention to the orchestra and Gene Ty as they get together in a Gershwin medley from that swell show of The I Sing. <laughs>
cares what banks fail in Yonkers? Long as you've got a kiss that conquers, why should I cry? Life is one long jubilee. to Tom Shirley and into his world again. And can we have the results of our efforts to beat the band, Tom? Right, Eddie. Folks, here's the final score on how you, represented by Eddie Mayhoff versus the orchestra and our guest, Gene Ty, made out in our little battle of mirth and music. We used five questions and three were answered correctly. For the use of those questions, to each person beat the band awards $25 and a carton of Raleigh cigarettes. Two questions beat the band. Award $50 and two cartons of Raleigh cigarettes. And by the way, that means that we will increase the Raleigh's in the bass drum by 72000 Friends, send your questions to Beat the Band, NBC Chicago 54. And everyone in our studio audience tonight receives a pack of Raleigh cigarettes. Well, minutes manage to skip along, don't they, folks? But it's been a lot of fun for me tonight, and I hope it has for you. And won't you come back and tune in on us next Wednesday, and let's have another date to Beat the Band. And until then, good luck and good night. Good night, Eddie Mayhaw. Friends, Raleigh Cigarettes invite you to hear people of Funny Friday night. Tune in the Raleigh Room with Hildegard next Tuesday and team up with Eddie Mayhoff next Wednesday to beat the band. Remember, if your cigarette tastes different these days, smoke Raleigh's for perfect taste. Top seller and still climbing, Cool, America's largest selling mentholated cigarette. For round-the-clock smoking enjoyment, make it a rule to smoke Cools. No matter how often you smoke, Cools taste mild, smooth, mint fresh. It's the mild dash of menthol that does the trick. Keeps Cools tasting so right, pack after pack after pack. Make that first cigarette in the morning a cool, smokers, and your cigarettes all day will be cool. Listen to Penguin Pete. Yes, it is. Logic Cool to smoke cool. America's logically milder, by far and away, America's largest selling mentholated cigarette. Cool. This is the National Broadcasting Company.